Yo my people, Sidhu Jr here, back with another video. Now, there is a lot of talk online, on Twitter, on the timeline, about world-class players. What is world-class? Everyone's got their own definition. Arsenal fans are ripping into Rio Third now for calling Bakaya Saka not world-class, and today, we will see if he is. But what is world-class? Now, my definition of world-class is when you have been doing it consistently at the top of the game for a number of years. I'm going to do the world-class players in every top six team, and here are the categories we have, as always, World class, we'll get there in the future. Maybe, maybe, they may would be world class, they was world class, like they can, it's just like that kind of thing. And bum, you're not becoming world class, you never become world class, you're just gonna be a good or average or shit player. Aaron Ramsdale, last season, I wanna put him here. This season he's here, cause he can become world class. I've said in numerous videos before, he is better than David Raya. He should be starting. Aaron Wan Basaka. I think he's a good player, I think he's a great player, but he's never gonna become world class. Like when he came to United, it was fantastic. He could slide tackle because there was things he could improve on. He's now been there, what, three, four years now, I want to say? And he hasn't improved. He's still the same player that came to United. Alexis McAllister will get there in the future. I believe he will get there in the future because since the 2022 World Cup, he's only got better. This season for Liverpool, he's been one of our better players. Probably our best midfielder all season. And he's still quite young. I think he's like 25, 26. He's got a few more years left to hit that World Class level and I feel he can do that. Alisson! Son. World class. Best keeper in the world. Best Premier League keeper of all time. Very self-explanatory. Don't really need to talk about too much on him. Andre Onana. Now, last season, he was one of the best keepers in the world. So he can get there in the future. He's had a bad stint at United. Fair enough. It's not as bad as everyone's making it out to be. Same as Ramsdale. It's a maybe, maybe. Because last season, he was very good in that European uh, run to the final for Inter Milan. But I don't think he's guaranteed to become world class. Like Alex McAllister is guaranteed to become world class. Andrew Robertson, two years ago, here, 100%. Two years ago, he was up here. Now, he's not in bomb because I think he can reach them levels again. He's old, I do get it, he is old, but he can reach the levels he once produced. The start of this season, he was very good. People forget that before he got injured, he was the best left back in the league at, at that point, better than Udogi was playing, so he can reach them levels again. It's a maybe, maybe, because will he, will he not? Anthony, bomb. <laughs> He's never become world class, bro. He's never easy shit, bro. He's shit, he's shit. Ben White, bum. He's never coming world class. He was good last season. He's all right this season. Nothing to shout about. Nothing to scream or shout about. This man is world class. This man is world class, bro. Bernardo Silva. Is he better than David Silva? I'm not going to lie. That is a conversation to be had. Bernardo Silva, what he's done for this team, is filling out in depth. He's played left back. David Silva ain't playing left back. He's played on the wing. He can play in the middle. He dictates every game he plays in. Bernardo Silva is definitely world class. Bruno Fernandes is he world class? Is Bruno Fernandes world class? No he's not world class. I don't think Bruno Fernandes is world class. So he's gonna have to be a maybe maybe. Cool he's what that number one chance creation? Watch United games he's not world class. He was world class for a year I would say. That 2020-21 season. It's a shit United team yeah but he's not world class man. He's not he's not he's not. Gabriel Jesus I don't think will ever be world class. I think it's time come and gone now. Uh, he could have been world class when he first went to City. Remember he when he first went to City and just scored like what seven games in a row? He's not gonna become world class. He's gone past it now. Bakayo Saka is what made me do the video, and Bakayo Saka is not world class yet. And that is solely on the basis of I haven't seen him do it in Europe. When I say Europe, I'm not saying Champions League group stages. No, 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 no. I'm talking about real football, knockout football. And look what happened the other day against Porto. 1-0. Didn't have a single shot on target. Just because he's not world class now does not mean he's not going to become world class. I think Bukayo Saka could easily become one of the best players in the world in his position. At this moment of time, 2024 February, he's not world class. No, he's not. Kashimiro was world class, not world class. He's not going to become world class. He's not going to hit the levels of world class anymore. He's too old for that. Romer, there's no way for him to become world class, especially with the center backs in the world right now. I wouldn't say he's better than any of the main ones. Like, he's not better than a lot of center backs. So, yeah, he's a bum. Darwin Nunes will get there in the future, 100%. There is no doubt in my mind that Darwin Nunes will become world class. He has all the attributes to become world class. Just finishing. Even then, bro, he's got like 13 goals this season. He's played well this season. Darwin Nunes is young. He's 24. He can get world class. People are saying he's shit. He's not shit. He's one of the better strikers in this league. Let's be honest with ourselves. After Haaland, you would probably say Watkins, Solanke, and then Nunes. Nunes is definitely top five strikers in this league. So, he will become world class.
world class. No doubt in my mind he will get there. David Rye is a bum. He's too old and he's not going to become world class. He's not great. Declan Rice is world class, yes. Declan Rice has been doing it for a number of years now at the highest level. West Ham, he won them that fucking trophy. Come to Arsenal, transform their whole team, made them so much more solid at the back. They got Jota. Now, this is a tricky one. This is a very... He's one of these two. Oh, I'm going to lead more towards this maybe maybe one only because when he plays he is one of the best finishers in this league he creates goals out of nothing give him a half a yard he will score a goal Jota has that ability that only I would say Haaland on this list has the only issue I have with him is he is getting very injury prone and he's also like 26 27 maybe injury prone at that age and you're gonna hit your prime in the next year or so he's had two big injuries this season Shabot Shlai I think he'll get there in the future he's the same age as Saka people don't understand that people think it's like 26 no the guy is 22 and look what he's done for Liverpool already he's made our team so much better challenging for the title he's only had like eight months in England as well by the way learning a whole new language a whole new league a whole new position as well give him another year or so he will hit that world-class bracket without fail I would say Edison's world-class 100% especially after last season I didn't really rate him that much last season like, I always see him very prone to mistakes maybe because we have Alisson Edison is that whole rivalry but no Edison is world-class yet yeah, without a doubt Enzo Fernandez will get there in the few will he how old is he? like 21 22 Enzo Fernandez will probably get there in the future I want to say do Chelsea need to sell him yes I think if he wants to make something out of his career he needs to leave Chelsea because they're at a point right now where they're not really getting better next season I don't really see them progressing into the top four I think you've got that top three as it is Tottenham will be so much better than Chelsea next season United will be so much better than Chelsea next season he has the capability to become world class at Chelsea he won't become world class so I probably put him here then because he's got the eight year contract at Chelsea if if he stays at Chelsea, the guy has not become world class. If he moves, he'll become world class. I think he's a fantastic footballer and everyone can see that. Erling Haaland, of course, the guy's world class, bro. That's without a debate. Like, these top ones are easy because we know they're world class. Gabri... Nah, he wouldn't ever become world class. Nah, 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 nah. He wouldn't ever become world class. Same reason Romero. Very good centre back. Very good defender in the league. Compared to the world, I wouldn't say he's up there. And Martinelli will get there in the future. Same as Saka. He's done it for the league. He's had a, you know, a few off days last few games. They scored 20 odd goals and he's got no goals, no assists. He'll become world class. Yeah, he's still young. 21, 22. Same with Kanate. Kanate will get there in the future. He will become the world's best defender. I think he's better than Saliba. Saying that though, Saliba is world class. So let's put Saliba in world class now. Right now Saliba's better than Kanate. Future Kanate will be better than Saliba. You saw what happened when we went to the Emirates. Kanate literally came to Saliba's house, slapped his dick all over his face, left with a clean sheet and cut back to Liverpool. He can read the game, he's powerful, he's quick. So the way he has to defend with Trent pretty much playing seven minute at this point, he's covering two positions by himself and he's doing that flawlessly. Jack Grealish was world class last season he was world class i do forget that last season he was world class same as like bruno robertson i guess like they were world class and they can reach that level again greenish can become world class again i do believe that man city's hard to really stand out when you're not like one of the main players in man city like james madison will not be world class unfortunately no very good player like i feel sorry for people like madison gabriel like even jesus but he just won't become world class in my opinion you know what, I'm just going to put some players that aren't even going to hit this world-class level. Zinchenko is never hitting world-class. Benton Core is never hitting that world-class level. A few moments later. So these are all the bombs we have. Never going to hit world class in their career or they won't hit it again for players like Thiago, Varane and Sterling. Is John Stones world class? He is England's best defender. I don't know how many games he's played this season. I've barely seen him play for City. He's only played 11 games this season. He is a world class player. Let's be honest. He is a world class player. Maybe, maybe. One of them. He can hit it very easy. He can hit it literally if he goes on the run for this next bit of the season by the end of the season he's in there but just because he's injured frequently this season i've got to put him in there gavardio he's young he's young he's young he's young so we should go in here right it's his first season in the prem i'm gonna put him here man city have a lot of talent coming through the academy especially in defense and that could hurt him so gavardio can become world class it's just i haven't really been too impressive at the start of the season and i didn't really watch him in leipzig i'm not one of them in germany he was cold i did not watch a single minute of german football so I have no idea. Julian Alvarez will get there in the future. Yep. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a fantastic player. Look at what he's won by the age of like 23. He's only going to keep on getting better and better. The only problem is he needs to leave because he's playing in the 10. That's not his position. And because in this position is Erling Haaland, the greatest Premier League finisher probably will ever see. Jurian Timber. Now, I have not seen this guy kick a football for more than half an hour. He's highly touted. Yeah. So I'll just put him in maybe, maybe then. Fuck it. Why not, bro? I'm not tuning into fucking Dutch League ball. I've got better things to do with my life, bro. People that tune into like German football, Spanish football, Unless you're like a fan of these clubs, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Sorry, little rant, man, because everyone's like, why do you not watch the Bundesliga? Who the fuck is turning on the Bundesliga, bro? Am I really going to watch Freiburg versus Frankfurt? No. With that being said, Jurian Timbers in made me because who the fuck watches Ajax? Apart from that one geezer on Twitter. Kevin De Bruyne is, yes, of course he's world class. What the fuck am I on about? Of course he's world class. He's come back and just scored or assists in every fucking game. So he's world class. Kyle Walker. He's not world class right now. He's 33. He can't hit them levels again. He has to go in bomb. I put one of the best right backs in Premier League history in bomb. Fair enough, man. The game's a game. Luis Diaz. I put him in this maybe, maybe thing. He's a very good player. I think that's all he'll be, though. He'll be a very good player. People like to hype up his first bit before the injury at Liverpool. We'll be having the same discussion then as I'll be having now. He doesn't get much goals and assists. I wouldn't say he's at that world-class level. He can, he can reach it. It's just not as likely as the other ones are there. The same with Rashford. Exact same with Rashford. Except Rashford last season was here. He is a world-class footballer. This season, everyone's saying he's shit. Watch Man United play. He is one of the better players on the pitch week in, week out. So he is world-class. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Rash was world class. Fuck it. Yeah, he's cold. Marshall will also be here as well, but for some reason they just haven't added him in. Odegaard will be world class. Yep, Odegaard is a fantastic footballer and he's not world class just yet. He's a neutral's like favourite player to watch. I don't have any bias against or towards him. And he's just a baller. He just balls out. But again, like the others, he hasn't performed at the highest stage, which is Champions League. Mohamed Salah, best footballer in the Premier League, and that's why he's number one world class. He's the best player in the Prem by a landslide. You could talk about overall, the last 10 years, like now, whatever the fuck. Him and De Bruyne, he's a better Premier League player than De Bruyne. Facts are facts, bro. He's the best player in the Premier League, so of course he's world class. Kai Sado, exact same as Enzo. He's young, he's 21, bro. Give him time. He's had a shit start at Chelsea. He's been okay these last few games, and he can become world class in the future. Philip Foden, probably one of my favourite players in the world. Foden is a world class footballer. He's been doing it since he was 17, and he's now 23. That is, what, six years at the highest level? Performed in big games, champion. League finals, FA Cup finals, title deciding games. He's 23, bro, and he's already world class. Reese James. Fully fit Reese James is world class. The guy has about three games a season, so he's going to have to go in maybe, maybe because this is injury record. He's a world class talent, but he's injured too much, man. I don't know what it is. If he plays week in, week out, he's world class. One of the best right backs in the Prem. Rodri, world class, without a doubt. Best Premier League DM in history. Best DM in the world right now. Rodri was better than Casemiro in his prime because Rodri. Rodri just did more. You can say all Casemiro had to do was just pass it to the better players. Rodri could easily do that as well. He's got De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva next to him, but he's getting forward creating chances. He does score goals. He gets assists. He involves himself with play and this guy keeps running. One thing you can say about him, if he's not in the team, this great Man City treble team aren't that great of a team, which is a weird thing to say. Ruben Diaz is world class this season. He hasn't really been on it, but he is world class. King Min Son, I'm going to put in the maybe, maybe category. Two seasons ago, world class. Last season was a drop off. Off, man and this season he started well recently hasn't really done too much that's why he's not in bum because he can obviously hit the world class levels again Diego Silva is either bum or world class however you want to look at it 2024 Thiago Silva is Thiago Silva world class he is the only human able possible to keep that Chelsea team somewhat decent in the back so yes you would have to say he's world class for that alone he's 40 years old smashing it yeah he's world class he's world class yeah yeah, yeah. Trent Alexander Arnold is world class he's the best right back in the world at this current moment of time he's not a right back he's a midfielder playing right back and that's what just makes him that bit better he's revolutionized the whole position he's the main reason why right backs are attacking as they are and the inverted right back is now a thing because of this man Trent Alexander Arnold he's such a good footballer like watching him play football is fantastic he is the best right back in the world and he will become the best right back in the Premier League ever seen Van Dyke is obviously world class the only drop off he had was that ACL injury and that's because he wasn't playing he's been world class since 2018 he's been the world's best defender since 2018. That is my top six world-class players who is, who will get there in the future, who may get there, and who just flat out will not get there. 
any time in their career. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Disagree with me in the comments or agree. If you agree, it means you have fantastic poor knowledge. If you disagree, you probably know nothing about the sport. Like, share, subscribe, all of that. I'll see you in a bit. I love.